Okay, so let's just get to the syntax of the shell script because um, your more advanced user, which is probably the only person really watching, is <laughs> um, then getting the shell script syntax right is probably what you want to know. Okay, so we go to the Salem Deeds directory here. Am I even getting my face? Ooh, ha, ah, hmm, hmm. Okay, good. Maybe. I need a haircut. Okay, so I'm going to book one here. And I've already done some of this last night, so I'm going to actually delete all these. Um, yeah, what is it? Renders. I got like too much in here. Edit. Select all. <laughs> Just put the camera in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Move those to the trash. Okay, let's look at the contents of this whole of this file. In fact I printed it out. Maybe I should do it that way. But I want you to be able to see the colors too, so I'm gonna show you both. Okay, first of all I've called this text file would get Salem Deeds.sh. And again, all I've done is I've gone exactly accessories and in fact I could I'll, I'll make another one and I'll put it inside my home directory so it won't override this but I'll cheat and I'll copy the contents of this so you can just you know I, I want you to be able to see or anybody else that sees this to actually be able to see that it is going to work where is my application accessories text editor okay in there paste I'm going to close this other one. And I'm going to go file, save as, I'm going to call it, you know, get whatever I want to call it, dot sh. And, uh, and see all these colors yeah, end up coming up here. Okay, so I've got all that there, and I'll show you that it's in my home directory now. There it is. And I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to properties and I'm gonna set permissions and I'm gonna say it's executable. There it is and you can see that it it is you know it's it's the same file that I created but I put it down and now it knows it's a shell script it's been set as executable and if I ran that from this directory whatever it's programmed to do, the end result would place, you know, some of the, the TIF files up there at salemdeeds.com in that directory. So, now I'm getting all self-conscious. Maybe that's a little better. Oh, we got a white thing. What is that? Okay. All right. So, now... Let's just go over here. I'm now. How do I know? How do you know what to download first of all, or, or put it the other way? You want to know the actual link location of where these files are in general. In fact, I just remember another one that I could demonstrate too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I right click on just one of these things. And it's whatever you're working on. Obviously, you know if you don't, if you're not related to, if you if you're not looking for records in Salem, you're going to go somewhere else, and you're going to right click on whatever. Things they ha you know that they have available to see where they're actually located on their websites. So we'll get can render um, the URL and actually download it because it's not going to be able to down. Well, get's not going to be able to download you know uh, this kind of syntax. See if I can got that video, you know, with the. Uh, book page list and you know all the search page archive it's not really I don't think it's gonna be able to download that I don't trust it will okay so over here I'm gonna go right click I'm gonna copy this link location do I even have my text editor open uh, no I don't so I'll go back to there why I'm opening this you'll find out okay what I want to do is I'm gonna paste this here and I'm gonna show am I even getting this yes okay um I'm going to show this is what actually comes up when it downloads. The only confusing part about this is I think you actually can run would get without even worried about worrying about getting rid of the percentage 5C there. But 
but I just get rid of it to make it cleaner and perhaps, I don't know, I don't, it probably doesn't matter. I actually tried it last night and it worked. But um, usually, you know, if it makes more sense just for a cleaner presentation, get rid of, you know, the, the placeholders that are there really for, for God knows what reason. I'm not an expert at HTML to really say. Okay. So, now I know the location of where I'm going to be downloading this stuff. You may also want to browse around and try to see, well, how many pages are they actually giving out here? Um, <laughs> this might take a little while, but I just happen to know from experience, you know, I'm clicking on the More button there to show, okay, we got 179 pages. We have, okay, so now there's 185 pages. And um, I'm going to stop for a second.